Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Freeland plan to use a Friday meeting in Ukraine to get more information on reports that a man arrested there this on suspicion of spying for Russia sat in on a meeting in the Prime Minister's office this fall. But Canadian officials refused to say how seriously they take the incident, and that while Freeland would be raising it, it's not planned to be a major topic of discussion. Stanislav Yezhov was part of Ukrainian Prime Minister Volodymyr Groysman's delegation on a visit to Canada earlier this year, and was part of meetings with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, among other senior Canadian officials. Story continues below advertisement. Yezhov has also travelled with Groysman on trips to the US and UK. But even Groysman is now accusing him of working for a hostile state, following Yezhov's arrest Wednesday on accusations he's a long-time Russian agent who has been passing that country information through electronic channels. Groysman told lawmakers that the aid was under surveillance and without access to confidential information for some time. A Ukrainian court ruled Friday that Yezhov would be kept in jail through February. 17 His defense lawyer says Yezhov pleaded not guilty. Canada does have several things to worry about when it comes to the potential for Russian meddling, said Andrei Kernicki, Poland's ambassador to Canada, in a recent interview. Among them, attempts to use advanced technology to disrupt its financial system, including using misleading information to affect markets and technological tampering with information, including stored data. The underlying reason for such an attack, said Kernicki, would be to sow uncertainty particularly in Canada's natural resources sector so the turmoil would increase the value of Russia's energy assets on world markets. Story continues below advertisement. Story continues below advertisement. The price of oil and gas tends to increase when there is uncertainty in the economy. A cyber attack can also increase the price of oil and gas, and Russia is very dependent on its supply of gas to the Western world, he explained. Stephen Polaz, the Bank of Canada governor, has said the fear of a cyber attack on the financial sector is the one thing that keeps him awake at night above all other concerns. Carlos Ihun Bonds, the Latvian ambassador to Canada, said that in addition to the ongoing controversy over potential Russian meddling in the U.S. presidential campaign in 2016, there have been allegations of the Kremlin inserting itself into elections in Sweden, Denmark, France and Germany. I would not be surprised that the same ideas in one or another way will be tried here when the elections come, he said. Elections Canada has said it is taking steps to safeguard the integrity of Canada's voting system. One retired senior Canadian Forces officer says the government isn't taking the threats posed by Russia's so-called hybrid war on the West seriously enough. Story continues below advertisement. For the past decade, Russia has tried to build its diplomatic, information and military branches into instruments of national power to offset a weakness in its economic sector, said Brett Boudreaux, a retired colonel whose postings included NATO headquarters in Brussels. They have made brilliant strategic investments in those three fields that are reaping returns far in excess of the cost, he said.